Libra, hi. So this is going to be a reading for August 15th through the 21st. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Libra, 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 you're going to get your reading a little late today. We had a Oscar situation. He's fine. Um, he wasn't for a little bit, so we kind of delayed today, but it's okay. Um, anyways, and I'll see you guys later on tonight, I think, for the 800k live. Just to hang out, to chat for a little bit. So let's see what's going on with you, meanwhile. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Very nice. The overall energy for the reading, the King of Cups. And this is, um, there's definitely a full alignment with your heart, with the way you feel. Um, possibly about a particular situation, but this I see more as an alignment with uh, your heart, like allowing yourself to feel what you feel and just embracing that and accepting that. Um, cool. In the recent past, the Seven of Wands, the Devil, the Ten of Cups. Really, I mean, there's a there's a dynamic here that shows up very, very happy. And then there's some sort of toxicity attached to it. So it's like, I don't care how happy it is kind of a thing. As long as it's not healthy, it's not going to work out. There's a whole lot of you being against that. Um, kind of pushing that aside, recognizing what's healthy, what's not, and what's not, just kind of pushing it aside. Um, so that in itself may be saying that you may have dealt with something that um, did you know, make you happy to some extent until it didn't. And then you started kind of like, no, this is not for me, you know? Um, so I don't know. We'll see more in a minute. In the current situation, the Knight of Swords, the Tower, the King of Wands. Man, this is a whole lot of determination. Kind of like following my passion, following how I feel. It may bring habit, but I'm still going to do it kind of a thing. There's definitely a whole lot of determination to pursue what it is you feel is right, you know? Um, and there is a chance, there is a possibility that, you know, it might disturb some peace here and there, but I still see you going for it. In the uh, immediate future, the Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Page of Cups. Okay. Um, really kind of stepping into this energy of almost excitement about the fact that you can actually cut things off that don't work out for you anymore and kind of start fresh kind of start from what you would call scratch it's not really that it's a matter of really establishing what works for you what doesn't and really going with what does work for you rather than you know it's it's you're getting into a place where it's very easy for you to acknowledge that and not only acknowledge it but push it aside if it's not right for you if it's not good for you and you started that over there in the past you know tied up to something quite big so of course it's going to get easier in time to do that to just kind of detach yourself from things that are not good for you so really cool let's see um let's clarify let me see this king of cups Four of Pentacles, Three of Cups, the High Priestess. Okay, so this is tied up to a particular dynamic, possibly. There is here uh, the energy of love, and it's it's big. And I feel like you're being um, guided by your intuition in this situation. Um, you're showing me an energy of wanting for something to work out, wanting for something that has love there to work out, and kind of pursuing that path whatever that means. Um, what is that next? Oh, it's the fountain outside. It's out of water. So the pump is coming. Okay, I gotta take care of that. Um, anyways, let's see. Let me see the devil there in the recent past. 
Six of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, King of Wands. Libra, you've had this King of Wands shown up here and there throughout your readings. Uh, okay. It's a very subtle kind of an energy here because you are showing me love. You are showing me a sense of equal give and take. You are showing me a lot of good stuff about the situation. You're also showing me the devil, which is telling me um, even though, yeah, there were a lot of good stuff, there were also some unhealthy patterns to this. Um, it's kind of an acknowledgement that maybe in the time you were looking at it and being like, okay, they're not good for me, they're unhealthy, they're this, they're that, they're the other. Now it's more of a recognition of the fact that this dynamic actually created those patterns. So it's your contribution to, to it. Um, it's kind of like taking responsibility for, yeah, if I wasn't there, this wouldn't have happened kind of a thing. You know, they couldn't have played off this energy with me if I wasn't there, but I was there kind of a thing. So it's kind of like you took out the bad parts in each other but you were able to recognize those within this dynamic. Now, I still see th this dynamic attached to you somehow through your heart. There's definitely a whole lot of love there. Um, but I don't know exactly what happened here. I just see it more as a recognition of, okay, you know, they brought this up for me. So let me start healing it or let me start looking at it or let me start walking away from it because it's, it's not feeling good for me. Um, there's a whole lot of love, though, floating around this thing. Let's do the Ten of Cups, speaking of. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. This this is pointing me to boundaries, almost like it taught you how to create those boundaries. Uh, as happy as it was, as much love as you felt, when it became not healthy for you, it really taught you to go back to self and just kind of create that space for yourself like i need the space in which i'm doing me and i'll talk to you later kind of a thing um so if anything the situation really taught you about the self and about creating those boundaries for yourself you know which is very hard to do especially when there is actually so much love in this situation because a lot of the times we forget about that. We're like, what boundaries? It's love. I don't, I don't care. Well, and I'm sure this didn't happen overnight with you, but man, this situation helps you grow a lot. Let's do the Knight of Swords in the current situation. Seven of Cups, Four of Cups, Knight of Swords. Kind of carrying a sense of disappointment, but really shooting towards possibly something new. Mm, I'm having a hard time believing you in that though. Uh, that's what you're showing me, but I'm really having a hard time believing you. I'm sure that's your goal. That's your plan possibly to, and that's what you're saying to yourself to, um, okay, I'm done with this. I need to just move on and carry on with my life and just kind of find something that works for me, possibly someplace else. Um, uh, let's do the tower. The Seven of Swords, the Emperor, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of kicking and screaming though in this energy. So it's like, okay, I'm leaving this situation, this person, whoever or whatever this is for me, they're here, I'm gonna go that way. I don't know if it's a permanent kind of a decision or just for now kind of a decision, but it's like you're really increasing that boundary. You're really kind of pulling yourself or trying to. Uh, but it's not without a fight and the fight is your own. It's There's a whole lot of um, pushing against that energy. As much as you're pushing forward in that energy, there's also a part of you that's kind of kicking and screaming, like, let me go back, let me go back, you know, kind of a thing. Um, it's an energetic kind of a battle here, so I don't know exactly how it would manifest in the physical for you, but it's a, kind of a big one. So it's, it's definitely not going to leave you untouched here, you know, um, eh. cause at the end of the day, this King of Wands still shows up here for you. Yeah. 
have the King of Wands, you get the King of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Page of Wands. This could be their energy. This could be their energy contributing to your inner fight here. Because I see a whole lot of energy coming towards you from them. Um, it's, it's not going to show up as, oh, they're in your face all the time. Not necessarily. But it almost feels like as you're trying to pull away from them, they're, they're feeling that, they're acknowledging that, and they're trying to, to grab you back energetically. And the way it may show up physically is you just think you're done with this, and then all of a sudden you get a text from whoever this is, you know, that didn't call, didn't write, didn't nothing for months, for years. Um, stuff like that. That's how it's going to probably show up in the physical. Energetically, it's very different. Energetically, it's, oh, you're leaving? Oh, you're not going anywhere. You know, kind of a thing. Hmm. Very assertive in this energy, too. Um, let's do the Six of Wands. In the immediate future. The Strength card, the Judgment card, the Five of Cups. Yeah, I mean, you're pushing. You're pushing in that direction of a way. Uh, man. But that little part of you still pushes against that. It's still there, still kicking. But I feel like you're gaining terrain in that energy that pushes away, you know, more and more. Um, there's still a struggle there. Let's let's do the Ten of Swords in the immediate future. The Hangman, the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, you're getting to a point where you stop. You just kind of stop in your tracks basically remember that pulling away from and then there's a part of you that so it's, it's kind of like an energy that kind of does this a lot and then you you just kind of stop there in the middle with it all just kind of stand still and looking at trying to decide which path should i follow the away path or the the one that's fighting against that um and what's coming through it's kind of like listen to your heart you know, stop and start listening to your heart because your heart will know where you need to go. Uh, this is becoming a battle of the mind more than anything to, to, to an extent that you can't listen to your heart anymore. And it's like this energy right here that's showing up, it's like when you do stop because you do have that energy to you to just stop. Um, just be in the now with what is. You know, look around, feel your way through what's happening, and then allow your heart to come through a little more. Because that's your compass, you know? That's going to be your compass. Otherwise, you're just going to keep on struggling with this energy, which is not looking pretty at all. Uh, Page of Cups in the immediate future. Nine of Swords, Queen of Cups, the World card. Okay. Yeah, I mean... It's not going to be an ongoing battle kind of a thing. The minute you start listening to your heart, that's actually going to open up a new cycle for you. Because uh, this is something that you're kind of struggling. The cycle is going to be wrapped up. And then um, the heart cycle, the next phase of this is going to open up. I would call it the heart cycle, the compass cycle, the, the heart cycle. Because your heart is showing up big time, strong, at the end of all of this. Which is telling me that you are, I mean, the energies are available for you to actually step into your heart and listen to what's happening there and where you're being guided to. Because this, as I said, this is not working out for you. Um, await, not await, await, not await. Um, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Six of Swords, the High Priestess, the Judgment card. Interesting. You are being led by your intuition. In that uh, path of walking away, you are actually being led by your intuition. And again, I'm not seeing this. Maybe you're thinking it's permanent. I'm seeing this as a give yourself that time, that space. Put that space in between you and whatever's going on here to figure things out. And that's when your heart steps in to guide you for the rest of the way. Um, but the universe is kind of telling me here that your intuition is actually guiding you, um, not a way completely, but a way enough for you to, to find your heart, your compass. So 
that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.